Every time I end up thinking we can't get faster in the web dev space, some new release comes along and pushes the boundaries of performance even further. The front-end world really focused on loading times and efficiency in the past couple of years, and the results speak for themselves. Impressive. Very nice. Not only are the modern apps faster, but the developer experience is also greatly improved. You are probably sick and tired of all these new UI libraries and frameworks, but if you are not aware of the things you could achieve with Astro or Quick, you are missing out. Let me explain. The web apps of today are completely different beasts compared to the ones from a few years back. We are now putting a big emphasis on HTML first, highly optimized results, thanks to better architectures and smarter rendering strategies. To see this in action, let's start by setting up a new project. The idea behind Astro is pretty straightforward. Multi-page applications are always going to load faster than SPAs thanks to the server doing the initial rendering. So any file under Pages, which is the root directory of the file-based router that powers Astro projects, is going to be a special component rendered on a node server and then sent as plain HTML to the browser. As a result, your app will be HTML first and will rely on zero JavaScript in order to start fast and present meaningful information to your users. Of course, this makes your app static, meaning that users can interact with Pages only via links or forms. However, this is not really the way most modern apps are behaving these days. Rich user interfaces and seamless user experiences are relying heavily on JavaScript usage and async communication with the server. Astro has an elegant solution for this. Leveraging the island's architecture, it employs partial rendering to sprinkle in interactivity on demand. In other words, it uses one of the many UI integrations to first render interactive components on the server, send them over to the browser as plain HTML, and then re-execute those components code on the front-end to attach the event listeners and the state required for interactivity. You can control when these components are re-executed or hydrated via one of the many supported client directives. So the client will immediately see your app as a static site, and then, based on CSS media query rules or the visibility status, parts of your app become interactive on demand. This was a huge step forward compared to previous alternatives, but, of course, we can do better than that. Enter the quick team. These guys looked at the previous model and figured out something was wrong. Hydration, be it complete or partial, runs the code twice. This has various implications, the most obvious being that we are wasting resources and milliseconds executing code on the front end. So the solution is simple. Remove the hydration step. Well, in software development, simple does not imply easy, and they came up with a really clever concept called resumability. The server rendered HTML contains special markup, which is then used by the browser to understand the current state of your app and resume work from where the server left off. There are many other optimizations performed by Quick, ranging from an aggressive code splitting strategy used for fine grain lazy loading to streaming JS files on service workers to avoid blocking the UI thread. The result is an HTML first, zero JavaScript app which offers interactivity through the most performance strategies existing in the market today. The inspiration for this video is this great article written by Jack Shelton, who is also the person we have to thank for this integration between Quick and Astro. Also, I just briefly touched on topics such as hydration or resumability in this video. These are fascinating concepts powering all modern apps. Check out some of the other videos on my channel if you want to fully understand some of the tools we are working with these days.